There's a federal agency that's been shrinking the past 10 years. This agency has opened jobs in 70 different locations throughout the entire country. It offers the same government benefits and pension as any other federal agency, but the chances are you haven't considered it. This agency is the SSA, the Social Security Administration. We are gonna see over $260 million going towards the hiring and training of new field office employees in the coming year, and over a billion dollars in updated all of their old IT systems. Now, throughout the years, the SSA has been decreasing when it comes to employees, but the people entitled to benefits, the customers, have been increasing. It doesn't match. Right now, over 70 million Americans are receiving benefits under Social Security. Every year, about 5 million people are added to that number. So unless there's going to be some major reform, this agency, they need help and they need the help now. Now, there's a lot of talk about Social Security going away or it's not sustainable. When I was a kid in the early 1990s, I heard some of these same conversations happening. A lot of people were predicting it wouldn't be here in the future. But we're in 2024 and there are millions of people that are still requiring the benefit, that are still getting the benefit. So why does this agency have such a hard time when it comes to recruiting and then retaining good employees? Well, there's a few big reasons. The first one is the interaction with the general public. When you're interacting with somebody who is receiving social security benefits, a lot of the times that equates to food on their table and you are getting in between them and their survival, their possibility of survival because they need to buy food. They need to buy other items in order to ensure that they're gonna make it to the next day. They don't get their benefits, they need an outlet to express their emotions, to express their anger or even disgust. You're that outlet. As a customer service representative, you're that outlet that they're gonna take it out on. But it doesn't mean they want to attack you. It's more reflective on the emotions and the situation that they're going through in their life. The next thing is training. When you get into a new federal agency, such as the SSA and many other federal agencies, you don't know much about that agency at all. They're hiring you, but you're not well versed in the language of that agency. So you might think, well, there's going to be this professional development plan. They're going to put me in some sort of training, maybe even an academy to get me up to speed. And that usually does not happen. What ends up happening is on the job training, not from one person, multiple people. And you heard the, you heard the phrase drinking from a fire hose. Yeah, it could be a lot like that. It's a lot of information at once. It can be overwhelming, but your direct experience working in the SSA will come down to your field office. There are people I speak to in the agency that they like their job. It's not a bad job, it's pretty decent, but you go to another field office and you could have a completely different experience. Let's jump on usajobs.gov and look at a few of the open jobs you probably could apply to today. The way that we're gonna do this, is we're gonna click the open to the public filter. That way we can see all the jobs that do not require a special hiring path. So the only thing that you need is a US citizenship. You're a US citizen, you can apply. The first one is a contact representative with a salary between 33,000 and 54,000 a year. This is between the GS grades of GS5 and GS7. This is pretty much a typical customer service type job. A little bit low level, you're answering phones, you're responding to emails. It could be a decent place to start if you have limited experience. You basically need one year of researching and analyzing policies and procedures, conducting face-to-face -face or telephone interviews to resolve problems. If you have worked as a telemarketer, if you have worked in sales or customer service for just 12 months, you could be eligible for a job like this. Okay, the next one is an IT specialist with a salary between $103,000 and $191,000 a year between GS13 and GS15. This is another one with direct hiring authority. They're hiring in different locations, including DC to Alabama to Colorado. This is the required experience, 12 months in IT issues including implementing new information systems and system software. This is a term position. This means temporary, not to exceed four years. And what can happen in a situation like this is oftentimes it can be extended. Even though it says not to exceed, it can be extended 12 months, 18 months, if the proper documentation is submitted. But it's not guaranteed. So if you're looking for something more long-term, more stable, then I wouldn't apply to a job like this. 
Now, if you have IT experience, this is the job series you want to be in. This is 2210. 2210, they offer a lot of remote work possibilities. Every agency pretty much has 2210s. So if you want to build up some government experience in IT, this is a type of job that you would be looking at. Next is a claim specialist. This one has a salary range of up to $117,000 a year at the GS 11 grade. The experience necessary for this job includes developing, examining, investigating, or authorizing claims under a program for SSA benefits. So this isn't an entry level position. They want you to have some experience doing claims, but there are other opportunities like this one, SSA HQ. This is a 12 month open job announcement with a salary range between 39 and 170,000 a year. This is for GS5 to GS15. This one here is for veterans. There's another job announcement for Schedule A letter holders. This means people that have disabilities. The job announcement is in the 0301 job series, but they're hiring everything. We see here acquisitions, admin support, finance, human resources, IT, and law enforcement. I would say if you're interested in getting into the SSA, it's usually for one or two reasons. The first reason, you might be interested in getting into a government agency to earn your competitive status. After three years, you're a status candidate. You move around, take different opportunities. You're in the system, so to speak. The second reason is you feel a sense of joy being around other individuals that are marginalized, that are perhaps mentally ill in a poor situation. Life has dealt them a poor hand and they're struggling. You want to help and uplift and provide these people a quicker path to get the benefits that they deserve. So if you have those aspirations where you want to have that feeling of direct impact, this could be the position. Now, a lot of people, they get tired of it after a certain amount of time because it's not always going to be rewarded, meaning that the person that on the other end of the phone isn't always going to be thanking you. They could be cussing you out at times but you would know that you are making a difference in a lot of these people's lives. That could be enough. Keep in mind that SSA has been listed as the worst large federal agency in the last several years. It isn't the absolute worst agency though. If you go to the smaller agencies, you will notice that the Bureau of Federal Prisons is ranked a lot lower, but it's a smaller agency. If that doesn't scare you off, there are some opportunities in here that could align with your skills and your experience, and you might find it easier getting into an agency like this. Now, if you are interested in getting a federal government job, it's important for you to understand, to know the hiring process from when you apply, get referred, receive the interview and the final job offer. Exactly what is in that process. If you're interested in that, then I want you to watch this video next. If you would like to see more videos like this, please click like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.